Are you curious to learn about the amazing history of the warriors who fought in the samurai era? Hello everyone, this video is going to be all about the samurai warriors, the greatest warriors in history. However, before we get started, make sure to click the like button and subscribe to our channel so that you can get upcoming updates. Be sure to click the bell icon in order to keep up with our most recent uploads and ensure that you don't miss anything. Let's begin. Samurai are Japanese warriors. Over time, the term samurai came to refer to all members of the warrior class that rose to power in the 12th century and ruled Japan until the Meiji Restoration in 1868. This happened when feudal lords governed Japan. The Kamakura Samurai, 1192 to 1333, who had amalgamated from provincial warrior bands, developed a disciplined society that contrasts with the imperial court's tranquil elegance. Stoicism and military skill were the samurai's pride. Under Zen Buddhism's influence, the samurai culture created several distinct Japanese artworks throughout the Muromachi period, 1338 to 1573. Flower arrangements and tea ceremonies are examples. The ideal samurai was a stoic warrior who followed an unwritten code of behavior, later codified as Bushid, that valued courage, honor, and personal loyalty above life itself. Seppuku, the ceremonial suicide by disembowelment, became a recognized alternative to loss or shame. During the early part of the Takugawa era, 1603 to 1867, a restricted caste known as the samurai was created for the purpose of consolidating society. This was done in order to maintain the status quo and the established social order. During the 250 years of peace under the Tokugawa shogunate, the majority of samurai were reclassified as civil servants or business people. This was done despite the fact that they could still wield their two swords at the same time. In addition, the growth of cities and the establishment of a commercial economy in Japan at the beginning of the 18th century resulted in the development of a vibrant urban culture that eventually supplanted the traditional samurai way of life. Even samurai, who were guaranteed a certain amount of pay each month, wound themselves in the red. By the time the Tokugawa era had come to an end, a great number of samurai households were destitute. Lower-ranking samurai joined the battle against the Tokugawa system in the middle of the 19th century, which eventually led to the Meiji Restoration in 1868. This was done in response to the invasion of Japan by Western countries at that time. As a result of this movement, the Tokugawa shogunate was succeeded by the Meiji shogunate. The collapse of feudalism in 1871 brought an end to the privileges enjoyed by samurai. The newly constituted National Army quickly put down a number of uprisings in the 1870s that were headed by dissatisfied former samurai. Samurai are famed warriors from ancient Japan. They were renowned warriors. With their fearsome armor and swords, they battled evil and each other. A strict moral ethic guided their life. Over time, the term samurai came to refer to all members of the warrior class that rose to power in the 12th century and ruled Japan until the Meiji Restoration in 1868. This happened when feudal lords governed Japan. The samurai warriors represent aesthetics and social values in Japanese culture. The warrior clan has become a mythical symbol of valiant Japan, owing to Hollywood and the silver screen. That's the consensus. The samurai has many other qualities. Some of the Japanese warrior facts are included here. Female warrior. Despite the fact that samurai is a title reserved for men, the Japanese bushi class, from which samurai emerged, included women who received comparable martial arts and strategy training. These brave women were known as Onabugisha, and they battled alongside men. Naginata, a versatile spear with a sword-like blade, was their weapon. Since there were so few mentions of female fighters in ancient literature, the typical role of a Japanese noblewoman was more of a homemaker, we used to believe that they were a very small minority. However, recent studies suggest that Japanese women fought more often than historical accounts indicate. 35 of the 105 bones unearthed during the Battle of Senban Matsuburu in 1580 were female, according to DNA research. Research on other sites matches this one. Female strength. After Emperor Shuai's death in 209, Empress Jingu ruled Japan as regent until 269, when her son Ojin took the throne. AD 169 to 269 was her lifespan. Western Samurai. 
Many of you have seen Tom Cruise's samurai flick, The Last Samurai. History shows that non-Japanese people may fight with and even become samurai. This uncommon title, which included samurai equipment and a new Japanese name, was only granted by Strong, Daimyos, or the Shogun, William Adams, Jan Justin von Lodenstein, Eugene Kolachi, and Edward Schnell are Western samurai. Adams was the first and most important of the four. He advised the Shogun as a bannerman. The armor. The strange and complex armor worn by the samurai is perhaps the most puzzling feature of their culture to those from the West. However, it was not constructed accidentally. Rather, every part serves a specific function. Unlike the heavy armor used by European knights, samurai armor was designed to maximize the warrior's mobility. The armor was built from lacquered leather or metal plates that were skillfully attached to one another by leather or silk laces. Arm protection came in the form of large rectangular shoulder shields and lightweight armored sleeves. The right sleeve was often left off to allow for more freedom of movement. A good suit of armor needed to be sturdy and effective, but it also had to be flexible enough to allow the wearer full range of motion. The Kabutu helmet was the most unusual and difficult to wear. Its bowl was made from welded metal plates and it wore a piece of armor that covered its face and brow under its helmet for further protection. The neck guard was the most recognizable part of the helmet since it resembled the one on Darth Vader's helmet, whose design was really influenced by samurai helmets. The earliest modern flak jackets were based on samurai armor since it was so well made and effective. While wearing this, the wearer was safe from incoming arrows and swords. The Mengu mask, with its devilish mustache, was one of several optional extras and embellishments for various helmet styles. This mask had a dual purpose, protecting the wearer's face from harm, while also striking fear into the hearts of their enemies. A leather cap worn under the helmet offered the much-needed padding. The samurai's armor evolved significantly throughout time, yet to the untrained eye, it looked very much the same from one period to the next. Population The samurai have been wrongly portrayed as an exclusive elite army or a defined caste of aristocrats by many. They were a completely distinct social stratum. The original meaning of the word samurai was those who serve in close attendance to the nobility. Eventually, the phrase began to be used to describe troops from the middle and top ranks of the Bushi class. This points to the existence of a far larger population of these formidable warriors than is often supposed. When the samurai were at the pinnacle of their power in Japan, they accounted for as much as 10% of the population, with just 3.5% of that number being female. Since samurais were so numerous and left such a lasting impact on Japanese history, it is widely believed that every living Japanese person today is descended in some small way from a samurai. The Weapon Weapons used by the Japanese warriors were varied. Both a wakazashi and a katana were in their possession. Skilled swordsmen used the bodies of criminals as test subjects. They fought with small straight blades called chokutu, much like medieval knights. As the quality of swords increased, the katana was adopted by the samurai. The katana, the most well-known samurai sword, has gained worldwide fame. A samurai's katana was considered to be his most important weapon since, according to Bushido, it housed the samurai's spirit. Samurai sometimes wore two swords, or daisho, as a mark of their social standing. Katanas were legal for self-defense in Jut and Kusurigama. Keeping an eye out for fans, smoking pipes, and other camouflaged weapons was essential. It's as if rocket launchers were straight out of a manga. Longbows, called Yumi, were also often used. When strategy and tactics replaced bravado in battle, spears became indispensable. During the 16th century, samurai no longer used bows, but instead armed themselves with firearms. During the Edo period, samurai and foot soldiers used the Tanegashima, a flintlock rifle. Physical Traits Samurai appear huge due to their armor and weapons. Pop culture depicts them as big and strong. However, Asians are short. Most 16th century samurai were thin and measured, 160 to 165 centimeters, or 5 foot 3 to 5 foot 5. Similar European knights were likely 180 to 196 centimeters, 6 foot to 6 foot 5. The noble samurai may have been less pure than the race-conscious Japanese would want. Samurai were hairier and lighter than normal Japanese people. Their nasal bridge was similarly European-looking. 
In an ironic twist, this suggests that the samurai are descended from the Ainu, a Japanese ethnic minority deemed inferior and discriminated against. Many samurai were women. Ona Bugisha, Japan's fearless female samurai. In the end, it's the samurai who are the main attraction. If you have questions about the fascinating background of the samurai warriors, please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more upcoming videos.